I uh, this is iCam V5 with uh, Red Epic side handle battery and CP2 lenses. This is in no follow mode. Uh, this is in a pan tilt follow mode. Span. This is to show you how to mount Red Epic camera with CP2 lens on Zycam V5. First, after you connect the uh, lens, uh, you connect the base plate with a uh, quarter inch bolt and 3 by 8 inch bolt. So, when you have your base plate ready, done, then you connect your follow focus, uh, put it in, and temporarily lock in. As of now, you can take a quarter inch, then just 6mm allen key lock it so your uh, follow focus is also locked you don't have to keep shifting uh, for the balancing you know to balance it you need to know what are the axis you have to uh, balance the gimbal now there is one where you go there's one axis where you uh, move the base plate front and back to balance the tilt then tilt uh, there's one more axis here where if you use this knob you can balance it uh, based on that sliding forth and back then to balance roll you have this knob where if you use it you can move left and right balance the roll and here is one more axis where for the pan you have to balance it using it. this one you can use an uh, allen key to loosen it and then balance it and tighten it later yeah, so after you uh, fasten the bolts for the base plate, uh, remove the lens cap, then put it So never leave your hands, you know, never leave the camera and my chance of slipping here and there. So keep, make sure the balancing is basically your prevent it from falling front or back so it should correctly stand still wherever you are so this has come with you ok then take your allen bolt allen key and then tighten the bolt here so when you hold it it should stay wherever this is a recent balance uh, then you have to check the balance on these axes too for that you have to put it up as of now it's balanced already if it is not balanced it will tend to turn you know fall front or back so that time you loosen these two knobs and hold it and try to push it front or back till then till when it is completely stable like this okay after you are done with it sometimes uh, when you connect the monitor wire and uh, your uh, HDMI cable or uh, probably a battery cable it tend to again change the balance so that time you have to re readjust it again so connect the monitor wire and uh, keep HDMI whatever cable you have to uh, next thing is the roll so roll it's supposed to stay still when you are putting it any angle to balance the roll axis this is the knob where you are using it and try to move the camera left and right if it is not balanced it will either fall to the left or right so keep it keep moving left and right till you get a position where this is not falling okay. now uh, the last axis is this one where the pan axis you take, take an allen key and loosen this now a bolt here and holding it lifting the camera up move it front or back so pan balance is when uh, you are holding it like this it's supposed to stay stable otherwise it will tend to fall front or back like this is unstable so if i do it hold it in this angle it is supposed to be sta stay still it cannot fall so this is the way to balance the gimbal sorry balance the the camera on uh, Zycam V5 and uh, most important aspect is uh, the cables 
whatever cable it should be very flexible and it should not hit any of the arms or any of the part of the gimbal so it had to be fastened and secured with the camera like if you have a monitor cable which is it should not block you know restrict the movement of the uh, camera so i uh, you take a, a cable ties and try to secure as much as possible so that it doesn't hit or doesn't pull like uh, battery weight should not be so heavy that it start dragging it down it will be very flexible and secure it so this is uh, you balance the camera balance it on the like identify now uh, how to connect the follow focus uh, to the lenses and lock it since this dim this demo is not a full rotation follow focus it rotates only 180 degrees so within that rotation you have to get your minimum and maximum focus so what you do is uh, find out what is your range if from 2 feet to uh, 8 feet or 2 feet to whatever is the minimum and maximum you have to sync that with your follow focus so you can switch on and put it to one extreme one end of the follow focus uh, the gear rotation and the same the, if it is the minimum side make sure that your lens is also in the minimum side let's say 2 feet and i have the complete minimum on the follow focus then you can check it while switching on and whether your direction is right or wrong it shouldn't be the opposite direction if you connect it you should go that uh, you know should go the other way so you get either the minimum both on the minimum side or the maximum side connect it and then uh, lock your the allen bolt and lock it then uh, you can switch on and check whether it's moving in the right direction or not and you are either getting the minimum and maximum point the follow focus so whenever you change the lens or whenever you change the range of it then you always have to uh, do the uh, calibration with the follow focus otherwise you will not get your extreme points